This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the focus cell here. And that you by now should be pretty familiar with. This is the smaller version. One of the interesting things that I'm doing with it and here's a better uh, here's a good look at it one of the interesting things I'm doing with this cell is that I'm experimenting with the Meyer system and the focus itself the reason the focus cell has come into be is because of the quote neutral plates which if you've been following me for a while you know I've been on again off again with that for some time now The focus that I built is a little different in the fact that the reason that I built it. I'm still not quite sure as to why the neutral plates work, although I know I'll get a me in, in one people giving me the answer to that. But one of the things I have noticed in my experiments is the relationship between the neutral plates and the Myers test. So what I've done and why I'm selling or why I'm pushing the system, which is the focus, and notice the plates do not have the steel rods in between them yet. That isn't because they don't go there, it's just because this particular cell doesn't have it in it yet. Every alternate plate here is a neutral plate. It's got some interesting relationships. This is the electrode, which goes to the next two plates over here. And if you tear that around, you'll see the same thing here, which gives me the 11, 11 plate system. Also, this is the water sensor that everybody in the world seemed to be asking about. How in the heck can I get a water sensor to work with one stainless steel screw? To me, simplest is the better. The KISS principle goes a long way. And if you're not familiar with that, you ought to look it up. Because that is my favorite principle. K-I-S-S. -S. So here's the focus unit and why I'm bringing this up is because the way the plates are arranged here I have in fact capacitors placed between each one and what I've been working with and what I've been experimenting with along the same side of the system that going in the car the relationship between the capacitance of the plates and the amount of hydrogen it puts out. If you probably, if you've been following me, you'll notice this system puts out approximately one liter per minute. It's hydrogen slash oxygen. This is a stop off to the actual principle that's involved here. And that is to get a system that's running on straight water. It's not to get it confused with tap water, although I did start hydrogen tap with that in mind. It's become really clear that you can't use tap water in the system. And that's because of the minerals and whatever other garbage there is in there. You could do it if you filter it, and I'm going to show you the filter that's going to go into my system, because I am going to go back to using tap water, but the tap water is not going to be in the, the cell. So what the focus is about, or will be about, eventually, is we'll be replacing the electrolyte with straight water. 
and using the plates in a capacitance type arrangement. You see the background one of my systems here, the, my DC systems that I'm using now instead of batteries, which is certainly coming. It really helped a lot. Uh, most of my batteries now need replacing. It's been over uh, a few years since I bought them. So between this and the pulsing system, I intend to have a working Meyer system pretty close, pretty shortly. So for those of you who are asking what, why I'm working on one or the other, it isn't one or the other, it's both together. And the cell itself has to be configured in such a way that you have a bottom line. The focus cell is made now so that there is a bottom line, meaning it is very, very simplistic and easy to control. There are no more fittings underneath. Everything comes to the top. All this is stainless steel. There is no longer any other steel in the system. One of the questions that I'm getting a lot is how am I running the water sensor? And here's the sensor on the top. The key, the secret to the water sensor really is the relay. Since we're running on a 12 volt system here, what I do is I put a 5 volt relay between the water sensor and positive. And what that means is when you're using a relay that only takes 5 volts on a system that's putting out 12, the amount of current that's required to pull that relay in is very, very small. So when this sensor hits the water, which has an electrolyte in it, it carries the current through the relay to the positive side. And of course when the relay pulls in, then you have contacts to fool with. And of course on the Honda I have a red and green light, so when the contacts pull in, I have a green light on one side of the contacts, and the contacts release, I have a red light, which is simple enough. The kit's principle. So what you're looking at here is the smaller focus, and you can see I've got it up on blocks because I'm getting ready to put this one together. This one has been sold. If you want to go to hydrogentap.com, that's hydrogentap.com, you can see the cells there and you can see how simplistic they are. You can also see the YouTube button. If you click on that, it'll show you all the videos that I've put on the YouTube in order with the latest ones first. Also, it shows the Honda with the cell installed. I get in a lot of questions about do I include paperwork with the cell. The answer is now it's evolved from a one sheet piece of paper to about a 30 sheet. I don't know, 20 or 30 sheets. It looks pretty good. I've been told it looks good. It's a good piece of information that you get with it. Is it a blueprint to the future? I think what we're doing is a blueprint to the future. I also get a lot of email from people who want to install this right away in their brand new car. The answer to that, and it has always been the answer, do not do that. Do not install a cell in your engine if you expect or need it for your own transportation. If you need it, don't experiment with your engines. The cells that I have, the cells that I've been selling, are for experimental use only. I cannot tell you what it's doing to that engine. I'm putting it on mine because I believe it's not doing anything. I've gotten a lot of email both directions, and from what I'm seeing so far, I haven't seen any problems with it. I haven't heard anybody that has had a problem with it, other than some nuts once in a while I get emails from. But the gearheads... If I may use that expression that have been emailing me, tell me that 